Good morning children. Today we are going to see addition and subtraction together. If you see here, there are three numbers. No? 20,963 plus 75,909 and minus 86,312. So here addition also is there, subtraction also is there. So in this case, first you will do the addition, then you will do the minus. So let's do the addition first and first let's arrange the digits in order. Okay, first we will add these two numbers. Okay, so let's add now 3 plus 9, you will get 12. So 2 you will write here, 1 carry over, 1 plus 6, 7, 7 plus 0, 7 only. Again, 9 plus 9, 18. So in 18, 8 you will write here and 1 you will carry here, 1 plus 0, 1 only. So now 1 plus 5, 6. Next we have 2 and 7, 2 plus 7, 9. So we have the total now 96,872. This is the total. Now from this total you will minus the third number. What is the third number what is given? So let's arrange these two numbers in order. Okay, now I have arranged this sum. Okay, this is the sum I have written here. That sum and this number, the third number what is there that I have written. Now I am going to do the minus. This is minus so you have to minus. Here there was addition so you added. Now this is minus so you will minus. 2 minus 2, 0. 7 minus 1, 6. 8 minus 3, 5. Next 6 minus 6, 0. 9 minus 8, 1. So this is the answer. This is the answer you have to write. Okay so first you will do the addition and you will, next you will do the minus. Okay, now see the second example if you see here, the here also minus, here also minus but in the first sum here was plus and here was minus. So in this case what you will do, first you will minus this two number, then the difference what you are getting from there you will minus this number. So this way you can do, otherwise this last two number you will add which are having minus, no? that two number you will add and you can minus that uh, addition what you have got that you can minus from here that we also can do but now since it is given in minus so let's do the, this method first we will minus here again we will minus this one so first let's minus these two number and arrange them in order ok I have arranged the digits in order let's minus now here 5 is small 6 is big you cannot minus you have to borrow but here also 0 is there so you will borrow from here so from here if you give 1, so here only 0 will remain. So that will come here and this will be 10. So from this 10 if you give 1, 9 will remain and this will be now 15. So 15 minus 6. Now this 15 is big, 6 is small so you can minus. So 15 minus 6 you will get 9. And we have here 9, 9 minus 0, 9 only. Again here we have 0 but here 7 you cannot minus so you will borrow from here. So from 2 if you borrow 1, 1 will remain. That 1 will come here and this will be now 10. 10 minus 7 you will get 3. And now we have here 1 and here 2 we cannot minus so we will borrow. So from 8 if you borrow 1, 7 will remain. And that 1 if it comes here it will become now 11. 11 minus 2 it will be 9. And here 7 minus 4, 3. So you have got the difference 39,399. So from this you will minus the third number. Let's arrange them in order. Okay, the difference what you have got that only you are writing here. From there you are minusing the third number. What is given that you are minusing. So let's minus. This is minus. Okay. So 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 1, 8. And here 3 minus 0, 3. Again here 9 minus 6, 3. 3 minus 1, 2. So the answer is 23,383. Since then both the place minus, so first you minus 1 and 2, the both the numbers you minus. From that difference what you are getting, from there you will minus the third number. But in the first sum, this 2 had the plus. So this 2 you will add. Then from that sum you will minus this third number. Okay. So in the second sum from this 2 difference you minus the third number. But in the first sum in these 2 sums that addition no, you will minus the third number. 
only that is the difference now we are going to see the subtraction facts okay now subtraction facts the addition now if you have addition suppose let me take a number now if we take 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 how much it is 7 so this is a addition fact okay now this addition has two subtraction fact all the addition whatever the addition they have the two subtraction fact and each subtraction will have two addition fact okay so now here this is the addition so for this addition we can write two subtraction fact but when you write the subtraction fact you will use only the three numbers here 5 2 7 only these three numbers are there no so the only these two three numbers you will use so now we are going to write the subtraction now so you will use these three numbers and you have to make a subtraction so which two number if you use you will get the subtraction that means you have to take any two number and from there if you mine that both number if you minus you will get the third number so for subtraction you need the biggest number no so this is a small number so you will easily you will say you will you can say 7 minus 2 you will get the 5 you have to use only these three numbers so from here 7 minus 2 you will get 5 so this is the one subtraction fact this is the first one subtraction fact 7 minus 2 5 only we are using these three numbers okay no other number you are using you can know the second fact you can write from 7 if you minus 5 you will get 2 7 minus 5 you will get 2 so this is called the subtraction fact addition is given for that you are writing the subtraction fact since it is a small number you will easily you will find you will use these numbers you will choose which two number if you minus you will get the third number you can find it easily so i will say how to find in these three number which is the bigger number seven is the bigger number so from seven you minus the add and any one of the add and first i have minus this add and two so if i minus this add and two then i get the add and five here that is the answer and from this seven again i minus the another add and that five so if i minus then i get the add and two okay so this is the way only you will take the bigger number the biggest number from this three number that you write first from this you minus any one of the add and add and means you don't know which two number we are adding that is called the add and from the that add and you minus you will get the another add and so if you minus now the first we minus the two now we are minusing five that way this is the subtraction fact so this is a small number now let's go with the uh, higher digits okay here is the add and is here now let's write the subtraction fact for this so to write the subtraction fact the first one what you do in this you take the uh, bigger number which is the bigger number here 6000 here 3000 here 9000 so surely 9000 9, is the bigger number so that way you can write otherwise you see after equal sign what is it that you write first that's all okay so the bigger number is 9277 so from there you minus any one of this add -and. this two are add -ands, no? from there you minus any one so I am taking the first add 6019 so the answer will be you need not to sit and calculate so the answer will be the second add and what is here that is the one will be the answer so 3258 you need not to do any calculation just you can write as it is like this okay now the sec uh, second subtraction fact will be the same number the bigger number only you will write the first this one will not be a change now minus first we minus this add and now you minus this add and so 3258 so the answer will be surely the first add and that is 6019 you don't do any calculation just this three number this addition fact will be given so there are three numbers now these three numbers only you have to change them in order and write here it is plus since it is subtraction fact you have to write minus that's all you need not to do any calculation it is very easy this is from the exercise 3.3 .3, page number 98 it is given you have to add this one it is given add the numbers and write two subtraction facts so first you will add this number then for that you have to write the subtraction fact just before how i have taught okay i have arranged them in order you have to add let's add now first 8 plus 4 12 so 2 you will write here 1 you will carry here 1 plus 5 1 plus 5 6 6 plus 3 9 again 8 plus 2 10 so 0 you will write here 1 you will carry here 1 plus 9 10 10 plus 5 15 so 5 you will write here 1 you will carry here 
2 plus 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 6, 9. So the sum is 9592. So this is the sum. Okay, so let's write the subtraction fact now. Okay, so this is, we have added this two number and the answer is 95092 I have written. Now we are going to write the subtraction fact. Listen, I have to show it in this uh, camera now, inside this camera, uh, this one display. That's why I have drawn the line and I have written here. But you will not write like this, drawing the line and you will not write on the right side. This you have to write it down of this. Okay, you will not write on the side. So let's see, subtraction fact. To write the subtraction fact, what you will do? I told now after equal sign, what number is there? This is a bigger number. So that you will write first. So that is 95,000. 92. So this is the sum. So that you will write from there you will minus the first add-in. So the add-in is 29,858. So the answer will be surely the second add-in. You no need to do any calculation. Just you write as it is. Just to look at that and write. So the first add-in. This is the uh, this, this will be the answer. Okay. Now second fact. First you will write the sum the bigger number. So from there first you minus the first add -in. Now we will minus the second add -in. That is 65,234. So the answer will be 29,858. Only these three numbers you are, uh, you are just arranging in, arrange them in different order. That's all. First you write the bigger number. Then you minus the first add -in. The answer will be the second add -in. Then second subtraction fact, you write the uh, bigger number first, the sum no? that you write, then you minus the second add and the answer will be the first add -and. So this much only you have to write. So this one as I told, this you have to write down of this sum. How can we check the answer? This only we are going to see. This is not asked in, your, in the exercise any question, but you can check your answer using this one. What we can do means? Uh, the difference and the subtrahend that means the second number that both if you add you will get the minimum that means the first number you will get in other way you can check this is using addition this one is in subtraction that means the first number the minimum is there now from there you minus the difference from there you minus the difference then you will get the second number let me explain with a small example See here I have given the 3 digit number 745, 312. If you minus 5 minus 2, 3, 4 minus 1, 3, 7 minus 3, 4. So this is the difference. And already I have taught you the first number is the minimum. And the second number is the subtrahend. The answer is the difference. This is in the, in the subtraction. So how we can check means uh, the difference. This and the subtrahend. This both. The first way. This both if you add this two, if you add you will get the minimum. Okay, let's check now this two adding now. Oh, so the difference is 433 and from there you are adding which number? Subtrahan. Subtrahan is 312. So this two let's add and see 3 plus 2 5, 3 plus 1 4, 4 plus 3 7. So we have got 745. 745 is what? Minimum. We have got the minimum now. We are uh, added the different and subtrahend, we got the mini end. So your answer is correct. In other way, from the mini end, if you subtract this difference, then you have to get the subtrahend. Let's check now. The mini end is 745. So from there, you are subtracting the uh, difference. The difference is 433. So this you are subtracting now. 5 minus 3, 2, 4, mi 4 minus 3, 1, 7 minus 4, 3. So we have got 312, 312 is the subtrahend. Okay, so this is the two ways you can check your answer. First, the difference, difference and the subtrahend, these two you add. When you add, you get the minuend. Okay, so if you get the minuend, then your answer is correct. In other way, you can, uh, from the minuend, you sub subtract the difference. From the minuend, you subtract the difference. Minuend minus difference. And you get the subtrahend as the answer. So we have got the subtrahend as the answer. So this is the way if you, you, you can check in two ways. In addition or subtraction. Which is easy for you. That way you can check your answer. But it is not given for you any exercise to check your answer. But in the exam to check whether uh, after completing your sums. 
then you go through no whether your answer is correct or not then you can check using this method whether your answer is correct or not thank you